Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing some more trail makers. I'm not sure why I said we because it's just me in this empty world of trail makers. That's right. There's no Jordy and Josh around here today. I'm very sorry. <laughs> they have left me and now I'm on my own. No, seriously, they'll, they'll, they'll come back. But anyway, today I thought it would be fun if I would show you how I build my vehicles. Because me, Jordy, and Josh, we've, we've been doing these awesome challenges that you've probably seen. And if you haven't seen them, then who are you and what are you doing on this channel? Seriously, if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you go check them out. They're awesome. In this video, we challenge each other to build the coolest vehicle on a certain topic. For example, a transformer, a UFO, a plane, a car, whatever. And usually I tend to win because I'm the best one. <laughs> right. I've been reading the comments and you guys told me that you really want to see how I build my vehicles. So that's just what I'm going to show you. Because in those challenges, we actually cut out the building parts. Well, obviously, we start off with a seat. Now, let's, uh, let's make a plane. All right, we're going to make a plane. If you want to make a simple plane, all you need is wings and thrusters. It's pretty much what you need to do. What's really important when making a plane is that the center of gravity, right? If you've got your entire vehicle, that your center of gravity is in the middle. We've got some wing pieces. We've got the modular wing. We've got the small modular wing. I I actually don't like those. Like they're they're quite big and bulky, and even though they look aerodynamic from the side, I just I just think they're a little bit bulky. What I like to use if I'm making a small plane, I use the simple tail fin. Realistically, it wouldn't work, but in this game it works. Okay, just, just just watch me. So you could either use this wing or you could use the normal tail wing, which is actually really good as well because you can attach things on the top, which is what we're going to use on this one. Uh, yes, totally. I knew that from the start. All right, so we're going to put one of them over here, one of them on the other side. There you go. We've got some uh, a simple tail fins. No, these are normal tail fins, Jelly. You might think, well, tail fins won't work that way. They're not aerodynamic enough. But trust me, they are. They're they're aerodynamic enough in this game. Aerodynamic. <laughs> so we've got the two wings. Um, now we need to build a platform for our thruster. It would be best if we could put the thruster somewhere over here. Or here. But you can't actually attach it, you see? The gray ones are always the attachment points and there's none on the front. So what you gotta do then, you gotta add a couple blocks, all right? We're just gonna add four of them. One, two, three, four, there you go. And now I can put the engine on it, just like that. Perfect jelly, perfect. This is actually already starting to look really good. So we've got the thruster, we've got two wings. What we need to do now is we need to make sure that we can turn. What I use for turning in my planes are mini thrusters, right? They're actually super useful for, for turning. You can also use the rotation things. What are they called? The uh, the rotating servos. You can use these and you click A and you go to the left and it spins. But this is actually a lot easier. So what you gotta do, you use the mini thruster, you point it down. Oh, I do wanna say the only downside by using the mini thruster is that it weighs 10 kilo per thing, all right? The rotating servo weighs five kilos. So you could, if you wanna make a super light aircraft, you probably should use the rotating servos, but this works. This works perfect anyway. So you've got the mini thruster. I'm going to put one in the other side as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one. I'm just going to duplicate it to the other side. They're pointing down because I want what I want to do is when I'm flying, I'll use, for example, the right one. And what will happen? It'll start leaning because I'm thrusting it upwards, right? It's it's pushing the it's pushing the wing up. So it'll make me turn. What I can do now is I can either put the, the thruster, the main one, on this side and put another one on the other side as well, or just leave it here. I think I'm going to leave it here for now. All right, just keep in mind, I'm doing this from scratch. I didn't prepare anything. I'm We're legit building a plane live. All right, for fun, let's actually put a rotating servo down. I'm going to show you guys how to rotate, all right? How to go up and down. So we're going to put one of them here, one of them on the other side. There you go. Now keep in mind, there's 20 kilos up front with two wings, and then this is actually, I think it's 35 kilos? 30 kilos. Okay, so this is 30 kilos. We've got 40 kilos in the back. We need more weight up front. We've got we've, the center of gravity right now is in the back, so what will happen, we'll just flip and we'll loop automatically. What we want to do is we want to make sure that we're super stable in the air. It's very, very important. All right, we've got the rotating servos. What we're gonna, what, what we're gonna do? All right, we're gonna get the simple tail fins. We're gonna put them down just like this, and we're gonna add them one layer higher than a normal wing, which means they'll, 
will catch uh, the the air that is not interacted by the first wing. All right, so we've got the simple tail fins on there now. What we're gonna do with these rotating servos is we're actually gonna choose a direction. So if I wanna go up, I need to use the red one, which is S. Down, W. Same for this one. Up for this one is the green one, S and W. <clears throat> that ache up there. And we actually didn't program the thrusters. This one is if we wanna go to the right, and this one is if we wanna go to the left. All right, so we don't have any wings on this plane yet, but let's actually see if it works. I, I, I forgot the wheels. I also said we ha don't have wings on it. We have wings on it. I forgot wheels. Okay, I meant to say wheels. I'm sorry. Also, let's quickly make it a little bit more aerodynamic on the front so that <coughs> this thing actually takes off. <coughs> there you go. That looks perfect. That looks amazing. All right, so we've built this little thing. Let's put a little wheel on it. Just a go-kart one. It's not letting me. Okay, it's because it's too far up front. What we'll do is we'll put a little block down, a little block down on that side. It'll kind of ruin, oh wait, what we can do? It'll kind of ruin the aerodynamics though, but at least we'll be able to take off. The aerodynamics in the front is very, very important, so it's kind of a shame that I just ruined it, but let's see how it flies. All right, so it goes to the right, goes to the left. We gotta go up. Okay, actually, I just realized I have inverted the steering, guys. <laughs> I have officially inverted the steering. I need to do it the other way around. Oh great, I'm the best. I'm the best around. All right, so let's test this baby out. And also the turning angle is way too much. As you can see now, when I click S, the wing goes up, but it, it's like touching the floor. I wanna make sure it doesn't do that because the moment it touches the floor, we're actually losing speed. And we, we, don't, we don't want that for takeoff. So this one's 24.4 as well. Yeah, there we go. All right, now it doesn't touch the floor. And in theory, it could lift up, in theory. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> All right, I have another plan. I have another plan. I feel like the um, the center of gravity is too far on the back. What we're gonna do, we're gonna move this wing, uh, I mean this thruster. We're actually gonna put it on the wing. All right, we're gonna put the thruster on the wing and we're gonna, we're gonna add another one for more power because more power is more thrust is faster off ground. Hey, and one thing I forgot is the, uh, the tail fin, which we've been using for other things, but now we can actually add a little tail fin. We should maybe, though, add, um, some blocks over there so the tail fin is just a little bit higher up. There you go. That, that could work just fine. Let's see how that does. Let's see how that does, guys. Will it lift? That is the question. Whoa. I killed a chicken. What? Come on! Ha! Ha! Almost going at 100 miles an hour! Oh, it's not lifting. It is not lifting. It's lifting! It's working! Oh my god. It's a little bit tricky to get this thing off the ground, but we're in the air! Alright, let's see. How's the strain of gravity? Center of gravity is just absolutely perfect, guys. It is just absolutely perfect. This thing flies so well! Once you've got it off the ground, it's easy a peasy lemon squeezy. So that is pretty much how you quickly build a little plane. I mean, this is a very little plane, I gotta be honest, but hey, it's it's what you asked for, I guess. So yeah, Josh, he would have added like a lot more blocks and a lot more weight, and it wouldn't have worked properly. I mean, look, th this thing just works perfect, man. It works perfect. I can do loopings. I can move, move this perfectly. Let's just try and land this real quick. We need an airstrip, we need an airstrip. Okay, the air strip to the right. I'm telling you, the center of gravity on this is absolutely perfect. Okay, without thrust? How do we fly without thrust? Okay, it actually flies quite well without thrusters. It's quite a glider. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Oh, that is way, <laughs> yo, <laughs> that is way too much of a flare. There you go, all right, we landed it. Not perfect, but it's such a tiny little plane, I don't think it matters. So, I actually kind of want to figure out another option for the wheels. I feel like the wheels kind of ruin it here. So, how about we add in something fun? All right, we add in something fun. I have an idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we're going to use pistons. All right, one piston at the top, another one at the top over here, and then all we need is two wheels on the bottom. Actually, plane wheels are like in the middle, aren't they? <laughs> Should I do that? Is that possible? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. But I just realized that's gonna mess with my aircraft. Let's not do that. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna program the pistons. All right, if I click on one, it's gonna toggle. All right, and two is the reverse. It's gonna toggle to go up. 
So let me just show you. If there's enough weight on the pistons, it'll work. Okay. I clicked one. Nothing just yet. Nothing just yet. Another thing, maybe this will make it easier to take off as well. I'm not exactly sure, though. Does it make it easier? It makes it so much easier. All right. The weight is a lot more up front now, so it's, it's automatically leaning down. But if I click one, does it go up? Oh, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. I just figured out a way how to take off with this plane perfectly. All you needed was some freaking pistons, guys. It's It flies the exact same. Oh, no, actually. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a little bit heavier at the front, which means we're going to have to add in some back wheels. All right, let's uh let's extend the pistons. <laughs> let's get uh let's get this landing going, shall we? Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely perfect, guys. All right, that was actually a really smooth landing. I was very happy with that. Uh what we're going to do is we're going to straight up copy these, right? We're going to just copy them. And we're going to find a spot for them at the back. They could just now that I'm looking at it. They could just fit in here perfectly. All we gotta do is we gotta rotate them. There you go. That works perfect. We add two wheels on the back, just like we did on the front side. There you go, that's one. And that's number two. All right, so when this goes up, it is going to hit the rotating servo. It could technically mess with it so that we can't actually steer our aircraft up and down anymore. But we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. And also, I realize now that we just we just prevented it from like lifting up like that <laughs> because I okay I got it I got to fix that real quick. So because the uh, the aircraft the silly looking aircraft right now is perfectly aligned like this, it doesn't actually lift anymore. So I need to put the pistons a lot higher up. I have an idea, guys. I have an idea. The rotating servo can be right over there. The wing, however, could still be on the exact same spot. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for the wing. We're gonna move the rotating server two forwards, wing on the exact same spot. That means I've got more room here now, and I've got an extra block to work with. We're gonna grab this block, we're gonna rotate it, and let's have a look. Could we add it there? I think that is fine. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's gonna mess with anything, honestly. All right, so now we will still have the angle in it, which is what we need. There you go, put it on this side. Come on, get in there! Eh. Doesn't want to. Oh, there you go. Duplicate this one, and there you go. That should be fine. So, just for the sake of aerodynamics, we're gonna add in a long wedge. We're actually making it a little bit complicated now for some aerodynamics. You see that? See what I just did? Okay, let's see if it flies. It's leaning back just a little bit. If I click on two or one, it does that, which is perfect. It actually looks a little bit strange in the back. <laughs> all right, it's all good. Let's give it a try. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Did I break it? I broke it! I broke it. I broke it. The rotating servo is not working perfectly anymore, which means these things, these have to go away. So how do I fix it then? I'm gonna grab these flat connectors, right? We're just gonna put them there. I've never really used this for this sake, but we're gonna try if that works. Whoa. Something fell down. Oh, the long wedges, they fell down. That's all good. Okay, uh, it, everything seems to be working. The wings work, and the pistons work. But we can't go forwards. What the hell? Oh, okay, my wheel broke off. <laughs> I think I was stuck in the floor, guys. Going great, going fantastic. Jelly building tutorial, yay. Let's try that again. Uh-oh. Oh, no. All right, so uh, because the angle is a lot less than before, it is definitely messing up. And at the same time, the plane is heavier because we've added so many things. So it doesn't want to lift properly. It doesn't. The moment you start making it too complicated, adding pistons, you know, trying to make it cool, it also starts to, like, not function anymore. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're up. We're up. We're up. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, the moment I do that, it messes with it. Did you see that? The moment I put the wheels up, it, mess, it messes with it. I couldn't do anything anymore. I think it was because the moment I put the wheels up, my wings are touching it. You see that? My back wing is touching it. All right, we need to find a solution for this. We need to find a solution. I personally think, even though it's kind of sad, that the best solution for this, let's put this one back at the spot, is that the, uh, the back wheels are just fitted on in the back. 
I, it, it's kind of sad. I know. I know. It, it's kind of sad. But that is probably the best spot where this thing could go. All right, so we've still got the front wheels. We've got the back wheels as well now. So, I mean, technically, it'll just make it stable. I, I mean, I, I think. I'm not sure. But <laughs> We could also try a third thruster. Should we? <laughs> let's, let's try it, guys. Put the back wheels on it. And we're trying a third thruster. Okay, because the thruster is so high up, it actually is leaning my aircraft forwards. All right, let's give it a try. Ah! Ah! It, that, that, third, that third one is just messing with everything. All right. How about now? How about now? How about now, boy? You gonna take off? You gonna take off? Yes, absolutely. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I touched the ring of fire. It wasn't me. It, it, it was one thing we haven't added in though is turning so we we should probably do that All you got to do for that is add a steering hinge There you go One on each side They do add a little bit more weight 500 grams, but now if I go forwards I can actually steer look It's a lot better with that. It's a lot better. All right, so let's go to the moon and back Kinda kind kinda all right all right, just, this thing just flies perfectly. It flies perfectly. All right, we put the front wheels up. Man, oh man, look at this thing go. Whoa, it's actually, the center of gravity is is at the front. You see, it's pushing me down. It's pushing me down. So let's try and land this thing. Actually, let's go through the tunnel real quick. Whoop, whoop, come on. Come on, you're going through the, oh wow, what was that? Whoa, wow, what was that? I have not seen that thing before. We just had a lack of performance there. Taking off real quick. <laughs> oh! Jesus, I got lucky I didn't fall off that cliff. All right, so um, <laughs> we've kind of completed our little plane build, but I wanted to add more thing. I wanted to try and make it float, all right? How cool would that be if we can make this thing float? So the game added these floaties not too long ago. Let me see where they are. Here they are. They're called pontoons. Pontoons. I don't know. It's English. Some, something English. What they allow you to do is they allow you to float, pretty much. We're gonna add a bunch of them in, just on the bottom of our plane. Um, where else would we need them? Maybe one over there, just so we don't tip over. I don't know, like, I feel like it's gonna add a lot of weight. How much, it's one kilo per thing. So it's like 15 more kilos on our aircraft now. But, just maybe we'll be able to do this. Let's first maybe do with some extra thrusters. Put two thrusters on the top. I can already see it's too much power. It's too much power we've added. You see? It's legitimately just pushing me down. Yeah, the power is uh, the power is a problem right now. <gasps> okay, didn't float just yet, but we'll see in a bit. We'll see in a bit. That, it's because I was going down in it like this. Will it take off? Will it take off? Ah! Uh, I've added like 20 kilos. Ah! Uh, it is definitely difficult, but we've done it. We've done it. All right, wheels up, wheels up. Once you put the wheels up, it's a little bit easier to control. Now, does it float? Did we make a car, boat, and a plane? A, a little one though, but does it float? Okay. That, that was it? <laughs> All right, so I, we, I guess we gotta add some more of those things. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not sure if that's happening, guys. <laughs> We're gonna try though, we're gonna try. I have hope, I have hope. We added four of these medium ones. Does that work? No, that doesn't. What about one large? No, the large one's way too big. It's, it's the size of my plane. All right, four medium ones. We can maybe add a fifth one. Yes. We can do more. Oh! Yo! This must float. This must float. I've added so many more now. Okay, so how much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven medium floaties. Let's try it out. It floats! It's a little bit much on the, on the front, but but it floats. Let's try it again. Okay, we need more floaters at the front. What about that? What if I do this? I just extended it. Oh! Ooh. Hmm. Still. We gotta make it float, guys. It's, it's today's challenge. All right. I've pretty much overdone it now. This thing is definitely not gonna take off anymore. Yo, it floats. <laughs> let's see if it takes off. Let's see. Can we make it take? Can we make it to take off? Okay, let's put the wheel down. Please. 
take off, please. We didn't just make a boat, did we? <laughs> well, that's how you make a boat. <laughs> Make this design, put some platoons or whatever they're called on it, and you've got yourself a nice looking boat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for watching. I had a good time here making a little solo episode in Trail Makers. Oh, I just messed up, but we're good. You guys asked for it, how I made my things, and now I quickly showed you how I did it. It's quite easy. It's not too complicated. If you want to see more of this, just let me know, and I'll make another video. And until then, leave a like, 10,000 likes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you go to jellystore.com. We're hosting a really, really big summer sale with up to 50% discount on jellystore.com. Cop yourself some merch. Come on. It's waiting for you right here on the shelves. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you over at the Jelly Store. <laughs> Bye.